I'm back in Paris. So happy. Also, if you can't tell by my demeanor and dress, it is like very cold and wintry and wet, of course. So perfect weather for exploring. <laughs> now. We just ate Chipotle. What a Parisian night. <laughs> oh my gosh. That movie was absolutely fantastic. Khalil and I both loved it. It was like such amazing amazing performances. It like gave me chills hearing all the songs. But so news, I would totally recommend Bohemian Rhapsody to anyone. Um, I don't know why. When I looked it up last, it had like 60... Like 67% on Rotten Tomatoes, but I gave it like a 9 out of 10. I thought it was fantastic. But so now I'm about to uphold my time-honored tradition of going to Monoprix and getting a bunch of like snacks and stuff. So, um, while Khalil's at the gym, of course. So, well, let's go do that. Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, <clears throat> I was feeling a little sick today, so I slept in. Um, so now I'm like running really late, of course, but I'm going to meet you for some falafel so hopefully I'll still feel, start feeling better as the day goes on and I definitely feel like I need coffee. So there are two falafel places right across the street from each other exactly. in, <laughs> in the Marais and one of them always has a crazy line yeah. and there's people always standing outside of it saying What's it called? Uh, Las du falafel and it says like you should go here you should go the, like the people standing outside are so mean about the other place and they say you should go here like why are you going to the other place and there's always a huge line and it's insane but but the but other, know. but we know, the other place across the street, me va me, it's, it's just good. as good. So don't play yourself and go to the place with the crazy line just because it seems like it's better. Because it's not. Go to me va me, there's no line, people are nice. Yeah, and it's, it's the same price. It's really good. We are about to go to one of my favorite places in Paris, Cafe Swedois. I used to go here all the time with my Swedish friends and I'm so excited to go back. <laughs> So, if you could not tell, that place, Café Swedois, is like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite places in Paris. as like the best memories for me. Um, but now Khalil had to go take a quick exam for school. So I'm just doing what I do best and just wandering. And um, we're going to meet up later. And maybe I'm going to do a little shopping. Okay, so I just did a little bit of shopping and went to like Shakespeare and Co. One of my favorite places. I don't care how touristy it is, but got something cute from Monkey or Monkey. I don't know how you say. Um, it's a Swedish brand though and it has such cute stuff and it's very affordable. Um, so yeah, so now I'm just walking. Gonna go meet Khalil. <laughs> Louis Vuitton now and we're 
you're gonna see some artists that Khalil really likes. So there's no transition here, but basically I started getting really sick this trip with a UTI that would lead to a kidney infection, um, but we traveled to Milan anyway, so that's what you're seeing here. Blessed. Just waiting to get my test results. Yay. Still, we're getting antibiotics and we're getting the 